Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for your speech. That was that was very that was very helpful. Very good introduction to the to the panel. Um, um, as before, I would like to ask you to start introducing yourselves, and then we'll get into. Thank you. I am uh, Jose Sanchez. I am an uh, independent consultant dealing mainly with uh, relationship from Canary Island with the uh, European Union. I would like to thank you the opportunity to be here to the Financial Times and to the Cabildo of Gran Canaria, the possibility they give me to, to be here today. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is uh, Joaquin Hernandez. Uh, also, I would like to thank you to be here today. Um, and uh, I am the manager of uh, Plocan. Plocan is a large uh, infrastructure. It's a joint venture between the central government and the Canary Island government. And our mission is to uh, support uh, all the activities uh, in the sea, um, mainly related uh, with uh, energy, marine energy. We are holding a test site there. Also, we are uh, helping on the observation of the, of the whole medium Atlantic uh, space uh, with underwater technology and also we support in issues like uh, safety and security in the research uh, of uh, these uh, activities. Thank you. Hello, good morning. My name is Luis Padron. I am the general director of Casa Africa. Uh, Casa Africa is an instrument of the Spanish diplomacy to promote a closer relation with the, with the African countries. I want to like to thanks to the Cabildo for inviting to, uh, Casa Africa to this seminar. You again as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Jose Regidor, and I'm the, the director, director, the president of the University of Las Palmas. And, and thank you to, to Stephanie, to Financial Time, and, uh, and of course to, uh, again to the Cabildo, because uh, you know the, we are very close. Uh, we think strongly that we need to join all the efforts in order to grow. Perfect. Thank you very much. Well, let's let's start the discussion. Um, let's start with you, Jose Sanchez. I will call you Jose Sanchez, <laughs> and um, I will call you Jose Regidor, uh -huh. so that we know who we're speaking to. Um, let's start with you. Um, what advantages does Gran Canaria offer investors, companies seeking to establish an operation on the island? Well, uh, Gran Canaria offer. Uh, possibilities that yeah, they can find in the rest of Europe. I will say it's, it sounds too big, but uh, mm -hmm. I will say that uh, Gran Canaria is one of the six regions that are named in the Treaty of Lisbon as itself. We have a very special facilities. I will tell you later on. What we offer, we, have, we offer a very special fiscal policy. We have a VAT 7%. The VAT in the rest of Spain is 21. In the rest of Europe, is is higher also. But we have also a very special regime, the special uh, a free trade area to dealing with uh, products. The free trade area, as you know, it it's based mainly on goods. With Africa, somebody asked before, we don't have uh, the better connections higher connection for people, but for goods, we have a very good relation, very good connection for maritime, in the maritime sector from the port of Las Palmas. So we have fiscal advantage, the local VAT, we have the free trade area, and we have the special zone. The special zone is a regime where companies can uh, profit to pay a corporate tax very low, a corporate tax of 4% instead of 30% in the rest of Spain. This regime is, uh, it has been accepted, of course, from the European Union. I will be working at least 16 years more. With Europe, we, are, we, we have always timetable, but we renew it, the agreement. So with that uh, special regime, the companies based in Canary Island, based in Gran Canaria, pay 4% of the corporate tax, and there is no withholding tax. So you can, we are not considered as a tax haven. You can take the money from your company and you don't need to pay more. You pay 4% and that's all. For instance, a British company that earn 100 million, they pay 4 million and they can 
take 96 million. Mm -hmm. uh, so to finish, three main points. Fiscal policy, special fiscal VAT, free trade area for goods, and a special song for business, for business, for good and services. For, for you, um, Joaquin, that probably played a role, but that was not the main reason for you to establish a marine technology test site in Gran Canaria. What was the main reason to do that? Yes, I think that it's, uh, it's, uh, it was a wonderful opportunity because uh, and the price of energy in, in the island is uh, already three or four times uh, the, the cost of generation higher than uh, outside. So um, the early technologies uh, can be uh, profitable there uh, before. And also, um, what's uh, another, uh, another opportunity is that in Canaries you can test the whole year. Um, you have uh, other facilities like EMEC, for example, or we have uh, in UK, but the problem that they have is that in the winter time uh, it's, it's very difficult to, for, for them to test. In, in Gran Canaria you can test the whole year. Also the, uh, the winters, uh, the waves uh, are not so, so large, uh, uh, the winds are not so large, uh, so um, the, the technologies uh, indeed are the very, uh, in the very first stages. What you need is just go to the sea and, and test uh, as soon as possible because in that case you can arrive to the market uh, sooner. So that is also a great opportunity. Also, the, an additional advantage that we have uh, there is uh, the port facilities. The port facilities already have uh, qualified personnel, uh, staff, uh, they are supporting the reparation of the oil rigs. Uh, so it's a very good synergy having these uh, ports uh, very close, very nearby to our test site. And uh, of course, in addition to that, we have uh, the expertise of the university that provide us uh, with the engineering and the, the qualified uh, staff. Also, we have another additional advantages, like, uh, for example, in Gran Canaria, we don't have um, trolling, so we don't have problem with the fishermen, uh, for example. So there's plenty of uh, advantages, and also the price, uh, it's cheaper to do it that there. So we have uh, plenty of advantages to, to do it there. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've heard, we've heard a lot about the university. We've heard a lot about um, people coming from the university and then working in Gran Canaria, like an area, for example. Um, so uh, the university seems to be the center of a lot of research. You yourself do research in so many different areas. I've just listed two for me here, Alzheimer's disease um, and geriatrics and gerontology. Um, do you see Gran Canaria evolving as a research center for biomedicine, for example? Yeah, it is. It is. In, uh, in fact, it is. Uh, uh, my, my feel that this is the, the, the aging of the, 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 the population and uh, what happened in the aging. This is a particular case because <laughs> it's my, my... But I, as a rector, I, I have to look uh, 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 more broadly broadly uh, uh, fields. Uh, for me, one of the most important uh, areas in, 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 in biomedicine are, first of all, how to find new, new uh, molecules, uh, uh, mostly from the sea, mostly from the sea, that can be used in order to pharmacies and, and all these uh, stories. Uh, microalgae is, is is demonstrate that they have the enormous potential in that, in that sense. And we are already in that, in that uh, particular uh, uh, field. Other, other the, uh, additional uh, biomedicine uh, efforts of what we are doing, we are performing, is also how to produce the uh, pharmaceutical in order that can be used in a part of the world that are completely different conditions that we have in the north. For instance, is uh, how to produce the uh, uh, ph pharmaceutical product for, for the areas of very high humidity in, uh, without uh, freezer, without, you know, mm -hmm. how to produce all this story. This is another thing. We are also collaborating in the health uh, policies in, the, in this country, directly in this country. We have program with, with Senegal. We also program with, with the Cabo Verde and uh, also with the South of Morocco and uh, also in Mozambique. So we are c collecting in, even in academic world. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, the first uh, promotion of physicians in the uh, university, in, in San Besi University in Mozambique, it was pr produced because of the, the collaboration of our uh, staff, uh, medical staff in our faculty of, of medicine. Mm -hmm. So 
to collaborate to public health, to collaborate in the public health in, in Africa for us is another, another uh, very, very important, important question, and we are involved in those, all these uh, stories. You, this, is, this is the right time for you to jump in. <laughs> Luis, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, Africa. Yes, I would like to, to, to add uh, two new adventures that Pepe said. No? Uh, I think it's the Carrier Island is a region, European region, is very, very important because we have a security unit for, for, for investment. No? And the another adventure is the, the knowledge of the African markets. And I think it's very important. There are more. 1,500 Spanish companies in Africa. Yeah. The most of them in Morocco, it's true. But 8% of this company come from Canary Island, you know. I think it's very important for trading company to establish in, in, in Canary Island because Africa is growing, all the people say it's growing about 5%, but the West Africa, 7.2%. And, and I think it's a very opportunity to establish there, you know, with a very new market uh, uh, with the African. Market. Yes. Hello. Sure. Uh, I would like to add that also that the, the networking that is already um, uh, in Gran Canaria, uh, the one that is, uh, for example, in the Port Authority, the Port Authority already have a network with all the um, African ports. Uh, that is very yes. important. Yeah. Uh, there is already uh, coming to Gran Canaria to meet uh, the, the uh, Port Authority is uh, the one that is uh, addressing this. Uh, so that's uh, that is also very key, important. Uh, in, in Africa, the networking is, is quite important and the support that we have uh, uh, there, and especially also from the authorities, that is also important on, on going there and the yes. support. The Port of mm -hmm. Palma is connecting with 21 parts of Africa, you know? Mm -hmm. It's very important, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about this, this hub between Africa and Spain. Um, how... Yeah. Africa and Europe. Africa and <laughs> Europe, oh dear. <laughs> Port between Africa and Europe. Um, <laughs> um, would you, could you call it, could you call Gran Canaria a gateway to Africa? I think it's the soft landing for the, for the European company, soft and sugar landing, no? <laughs> it's it's, it's the, the ideal you know, place for, for, for establish the company, you know, mm -hmm. for to forward to African coast. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> And, and your, your business is um, trying to promote yes. the working environment between yes. the Yes, Africa is, is in consortium between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the government of Canary Island, and the Las Palmas City Hall. And we promote to, to create the condition to, to the Spanish companies established in the Africa. No? Mm -hmm. This is our, our, our goal. No? And now we are very, very proud, you know, because we have more than 100 uh, canary companies are established in the West African coast. Yeah. And, and, and also, if you allow me, uh, and also to, to know better each other. Mm -hmm. Africa is a very complex, diverse continent with a lot of languages, with a lot of cultures, with a very ancient culture. Uh, if we want to be together, we need to know better. Casa Africa, Casa means home, mm -hmm. is uh, the home of Africa in Gran Canaria. Mm -hmm. And we need to, to create a home in order to, to be uh, a respectful relationship with, with Africa. And, and for me, it's particularly, this is very important. And we are creating also a network of universities uh, with the Africa, mostly with the west part of Africa. And this is very important because we are increasing the, the, the mobility of a student from the Canary Island to Africa and from Africa to the Canary Island. And, and then the, this is, uh, for me, a, a way to give this correct steps forward in order to get a better relationship in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, one fact important also that gives us the way to be, uh, the gateway to Africa is that a few months ago, the World Food Program from United Nations has been based is six uh, headquarter in, in the port of Las Palmas in Gran Canaria. So with this headquarter they will cover most of the west part of, of, of West Africa and also the USAID, the American uh, body for aid, has established a base in, uh, in the port of Las Palmas as well. So we are becoming the gateway for, the, for aid 
to Africa for the moment. We have a, still a long way to do to become the gateway for business, but we are on the way. Mm. We've, we've, we've now talked about a lot about the location. Obviously, the location is central. Um, what, um, what do you think, which sectors are, have the best potential for future growth within the industry, within the country? I would say in, the, in industry, as the, somebody asked also before, we have a sector that has been developed uh, a lot in the last years. It's an industry, but it's also a service sector. It's the cinema sector, the cinema industry has been a, an important development in Gran Canaria. For instance, now the BBC is shooting a new series called Woody that we, you will see here in February next mm -hmm. year. And also, for instance, the last film from Real Scott, Exodus, was shot in the island. In that film, they save, take into account that the, the fiscal, uh, the special VAT that we had for 7%, Instead of 21, they create a company to produce the film Exodus, and they save 20 million euros only, the save, save in a VAT. We have a special uh, aid, a special tax relief in, uh, in the island for the, fisc for the cinema companies and TV series. If you want to, there to shoot, the, you can have uh, about 30% of uh, fiscal aid in order to make films there. So this is, I think this is a sector that has been developed uh, a lot in the last month. Mm -hmm. And in the next year, I think we will have a good opportunity to have an, uh, a new industry that we don't have it till now. Adding a new industry. Any, yeah? yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that also, um, I would like to mention that um, uh, very ba basic sectors related with water technologies, related with energy, mm -hmm. related with the uh, production of, of food, uh, you know, these are areas that in the, in the next years, as our rector have uh, mentioned before, are growing a lot and uh, um, uh, the, the technologies uh, that they are going to require, uh, I mean, uh, we have to fit it uh, to their, their, their needs. Uh, for example, if we are providing to them uh, fishing technology, uh, could be something that they can manage, they can uh, deal with, uh, they can operate, uh, uh, taking into account their, their local conditions. So yeah, I think that uh, a good thing that uh, um, it has been happening in the last years in, in Canaries is that uh, this exchange, this knowledge that we have uh, of the areas uh, through cooperation programs, uh, uh, given to us a network of uh, uh, knowledge uh, of the culture of their needs, uh, uh, also connections between persons, but also uh, we know what they need uh, in terms of uh, the, the very basic uh, uh, programs. That sometimes from the European Convention and perspectives, it's not so easy to, um, to, to, to know uh, what is happening in the ground. So I think that the, this partnership with people <coughs> that already have experience uh, from, uh, from the island uh, will be, uh, as uh, he said, uh, a very good uh, um, profitable approach to go there. Mm -hmm. I, I assume there are uh, five sectors that are now growing in, in, mm -hmm. in Gran Canaria. No? I assume the first one is renewable uh, uh, energies. Mm -hmm. Another uh, activities from the tourists, like a thema thematic parks and oceanographic, and uh, mm -hmm. I think this is a, it's important too. The petrol plant for reform, here is an example with Astican, I think this is mm -hmm. growing too for trading companies and, like, like Jose said, the audiovisual activity, you know. Mm -hmm. I think this is the, the R5 activities that are growing now. Mm -hmm. okay. In addition, uh, I would say that, uh, uh, you know, uh, in, in the future, uh, most uh, proteins for, for, for nutrition of the human, mm. uh, for the people, come from, uh, will come from the, from the sea. So it will come from the fishes. And uh, regular fisheries, traditional fisheries, is just simply get the roof of the possibilities. And so the, the futures, uh, the, most of the fishes can come from, from aquaculture. Mm -hmm. So to, to be a, uh, a safe aquaculture, to know exactly what happened with the fishes, the health of the fishes, uh, what diseases, what parasites, etc. This is something that we are caring. In our, in our university, in our faculty of uh, medical uh, veterinary, and also how to produce the fishes in a better environment 
It is, or, of course, that they are in a, in a, in a cage, but how to, to produce in a better position, how uh, to avoid, uh, to damage the environment mm -hmm. where the, the cage are, uh, etc. All these uh, uh, are uh, goals for the, for the near future. In that case, that we are a very close relationship, but mostly not with the uh, uh, European companies, but mostly from, from Asian companies, mm -hmm. Chinese and mostly Korean uh, companies. Probably because we have a very uh, close relationship with the South Korean University and South Korea mm -hmm. uh, government, and, and with the, the Marina Maritime uh, uh, Institute of Korea. This is the governmental most important uh, uh, resources for, from marine science in, in Korea. We, we are now very uh, close partners and we are signed very, very uh, recently a, a, a mutual agreement for, for making a, a project in the coast of Africa mm -hmm. in order to perform uh, uh, platforms of uh, fisheries, uh, uh, aquaculture, in order to improve the possibilities, the capabilities for all these countries to get better uh, nutrition from, from, the, from the aquaculture. I think this is, this is a, growing, a growing area. This is an enormous growing area. Mm -hmm. But not in, in not, uh, uh, I, I mean, we have to be very careful because we have uh, uh, enough examples of how to do it but, how to do it but. Mm -hmm. So we need to do it well. Mm. We need to do it uh, properly. Uh, we need to do it uh, respectfully with the environment and with the people, with the workers, when the people who live in the areas surrounding, and with the people who are going to eat the, f the fish. So this is the goal, mm. and this is the goal where, and this is the idea where we are working in the in the aquaculture, and we have in that way the very important area in our technological part, in the marine technological part in the, in, the, in our university. Mm -hmm. How, how easy is it to, to attract funding for these research projects that obviously are a, a large driver of, of what, what's going on? Well, I have to say that uh, in um, issues related with marine and maritime um, um, science, um, it's not so difficult to do it for us. Um, mm. We have been lucky to lead several European uh, projects from ifp 7 uh, um, projects uh, with uh, 20, 30 partners uh, like uh, Tropos, for example, for designing of a multi-use offshore uh, platform, combining together aquaculture with uh, offshore wind uh, energy. Also, we are uh, attracting funds, uh, for example, from the NER300. Uh, the rector already mentioned that uh, uh, it was uh, already 34 million uh, um, insured by the European Bank of Investment, but the whole project will be more than 100 million euros uh, on that. We are already uh, testing uh, several uh, prototypes, uh, projects of uh, three, four, five million euros that already um, uh, the testing has been done uh, with the uh, support of uh, public uh, money. Um, also, we have uh, a good uh, program uh, for um, European research uh, funds that, uh, as you know, uh, more than 60% have to be spent in projects uh, somewhere related with uh, um, science and innovation. And I have to say also that we have the, the support of the public authorities uh, on that, not only with the money, but also what is important is encouraging this type of activities uh, and also providing the non-technological aspect uh, uh, with the legislation, permits, consenting, and these type of things. So that is something also that uh, we are very lucky to have in, in Gran Canaria. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I will add that the, in the last set, uh, oh, oh. The European Commission is a, a project of uh, called Eco Aqua. It is a project related with the with the uh, aquaculture, and uh, our university received the only the only uh, uh, project of that for Spain, yeah. and it was a, a, a project devoted especially to the a care of uh, fishes in the aquaculture and uh, and care of the environment in the, in the aquaculture. So I'm pretty sure in the near future we can do a much better jobs in the aquaculture and that we can export uh, we can, uh, our companies that are interested can use uh, in uh, using our knowledge in that field. Mm -hmm. in that field. Uh -huh. Also, there's some other field uh, that is uh, everything related with the 
support uh, services and activities uh, like uh, safety and security, uh, for example. Mm -hmm. That is also very important. It's growing very fast. Um, all, the, all these type of services uh, around the oil industry uh, that also um, can provide us uh, additional opportunities uh, for testing, for example, or doing research uh, on underwater technology, uh, gliders, uh, underwater vehicles, these type of things. So I think this, uh, uh, this opportunity that we have uh, uh, in the Port of Las Palmas is uh, providing us uh, also the, uh, uh, it's a cluster going, uh, working already there with the business uh, uh, participation, but also with the participation of the research institutions. So I think that this, uh, this is also a great opportunity um, because uh, the African ports, uh, they are demanding us uh, uh, practical demonstration projects uh, in, the, in safety and security and also in environmental issues. So the Port of Las Palmas is in itself a demonstration area for, for these uh, type of activities and a, and a good uh, selling point uh, for this uh, technology so they can come there and, 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 and see how they can adapt that to their, their, their own places. Mm -hmm. We cannot forget tourists. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot forget tourists. And in that, in that sense, what is now, it is okay. And we have a very nice and very important uh, resources. But uh, what will happen in the future? So we need to anticipate and we need to investigate. We have to perform research uh, to produce the uh, development in tourists and to innovate in tourists based in knowledge. And this is an area that we are absolutely in, uh, committed in our university with different groups uh, uh, researching in that, in that area. And this is something that uh, I think, uh, strongly, I think it's, it's absolutely necessary in order to, to have better uh, tourism resources in the future. Mm. Yeah. No, I, I would like to mention on that, uh, everything related with smart grids, uh, for example, that is something that is very important. And, uh, clean techs associated with the water consumption, water treatment. We have to uh, keep in mind that uh, uh, in Canary Island, 6.3% of the whole desalinated water in the world is down in the Canaries, uh, 600,000 cubic meters per day. So that gives us also um, opportunity in everything related with the treatment of water, desalination, water treatment. That is also something that also is, uh, uh, could be sent to other places. So there's uh, expertise real expertise on, on that uh, in Canaries. Mm. You, were, you were talking about water parks and, and um, parks as being one of the new areas for um, well, upcoming industries for tourism. Um, is, that, is that where tourism is going or is tourism going, um, which we see elsewhere very often as well, into the very sporty area of marathons and... Um, Crazy sports. <laughs> <laughs> but where, high, where high performance center, I mean, perhaps it's a new opportunity, you know? Mm. It's a high per per performance center, no? Yeah. I think it's another uh, opportunity to, to, the, to the classical, the traditional tourism, you know? mm. and the Tenman Park, you know? I think there are two. And also health. Mm -hmm. health. So? Health. Yes. health. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. for the moment, mm -hmm. we have uh, the main part of the tourists we receive uh, right now is sand and beach tourists. We are trying to develop, the, the government of Gran Canaria, for instance, is trying to develop new strategies, a rural uh, tourist, environmental tourist, mm -hmm. sport tourist also. We receive some uh, sports selections in winter, when it's very cold in Europe, they go there to training. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to develop new, new find, new, to try to find new sectors in, in tourists, inside tourists. Mm -hmm. yeah. Health tourism is not a uh, modern idea. Mm. In fact, the British, the first British tourist who came to the Canary Island uh, went for, for, for health mm. because it was uh, good for the health. So then we changed for of this new model. But in a, in a future model, this is something we have to think about very deeply, how to, how to move, how to, to do it. Mm. And health tourism is going to be uh, one of the parts important part to be not to to for the people that are ill in fact mm -hmm. but the people who need to be in a place that is safe for the, the you know different kind of uh, uh, particular situation I, I'm thinking about for instance and in retired people uh, people from some from that age etc that would like to 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 be in a in a place that 
he uh, feel comfortable mm. in all the in all the, the, the situation that right even in the health health yeah and we've we've heard earlier as well um, the president was mentioning that the um, the basketball basketball is coming yeah. over to the country to, to the island so there is there is a lot of a lot of go, a lot going on um, also in the future that mm -hmm. that we're waiting for well. um, yeah no, last Sunday we was the president of the mm -hmm. Kabil, uh, myself and uh, some other here was in the final of the European Championships of uh, uh, handball, uh, beach handball. Mm -hmm. So it was there in the in Playa del Inglés and uh -huh. we were there. <laughs> <laughs> so we went from, from, the, from the beach from, to, the, to London. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, now we've talked a lot again about tourism. Let's talk about let's talk about something else again. Let's go back to let's go back to you, Joaquin. Um, we what would you say are the main advantages of Gran Canaria operating as a regional hub for the maritime and marine sector? Yes. Well, uh, in Gran Canaria, um, as uh, I mentioned before, um, first we have a, a port with large screens, very well connected. Uh, around the African area. Indeed, uh, um, from a long time ago, there is a strategy focused, because uh, you know in Africa, you, you, have, you know that you have to make the things with time. You have to go there and work together and uh, generate trust. And the port, for example, have been down that during a long time ago. They already have these networks. They already are providing the, in, into these networks uh, activities of training, services, and so on. So, and uh, um, I think that that is a very key advantages in everything related with the with the uh, activities in the sea. Um, of course, uh, like in UK, we are an island, and we are focused to the to the to the activities in the sea. Our future growing is in that sector already. Is uh, five percent and fifty thousand jobs. Uh, but uh, our plan uh, for the 2020 is uh, at least trying to double that uh, in, as a whole sector. So there's uh, plenty of opportunities still to be developed in the nautical activities, uh, for example, in everything related with the, these activities, uh, with safety and security. We are in a border, we are the south border, and uh, all the technologies associated with that. And also for us, it's very important because providing safety and security to the African ports, all the, all the, all the, all the, all the goods uh, are transported by the sea. So as soon as we can get this uh, uh, safety and security in these ports, uh, that means increasing business activities uh, and opportunities. And there is uh, plenty of services around that. In the environmental side, is, uh, is uh, the same. So this is already expertise uh, that is uh, in Gran Canaria and cannot be uh, 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 get it just like that. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a job that has been done from uh, decades and is already there. I mean, is waiting for opportunities uh, to, to, to get profit. And uh, of course, uh, there, there are more uh, issues dealing with, uh, for example, marine renewables. There is uh, plenty of opportunities, as I have mentioned before. Um, but uh, also in, bi in biotech. Uh, we, the biotech uh, is, uh, by now, we have done a lot of activity in research, uh, looking for the chemicals. Uh, but uh, uh, now we have to pass through that and get the, 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 um, the pharmaceutical uh, activity and go to, the, uh, to getting uh, uh, new products uh, from that. There is uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, research down in the universities, uh, not only in the University of Las Palmas, but also in the University of La Laguna. And, uh, but we need the, the um, investors uh, to get this, um, this uh, Crude the diamonds that are already there into products in the in the market. I, I think that the, until now that doesn't happen because uh, most of the um, activity was focusing in the touristic areas and was so profitable that all uh, other activities wasn't developed. But the opportunities are there, and the opportunities are also especially for the ones that uh, have the experience on that. That is what uh, we lack now: uh, moving the uh, experience and expertise that our investors. Uh, that our businessmen have in the industry and the building uh, activities into new uh, tech, uh, and also I think that does have to be done with partnership from uh, international expertise. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, just to remind you and the audience again, uh, we will have questions at the end of this panel. We're reaching the end of the panel, so think about your questions now that you have them ready 
when we are done. Right. Um, uh, what would you say are the key considerations a business should be aware of when they are looking to invest in Gran Canaria? We've heard all the, we've heard all the tax benefits. We've heard a lot of a lot of good stuff. What what should I, as a potential new business owner in Gran Canaria, be thinking about? The potential new business is, uh, let's say, I will say it's. Uh, there are some possibilities, uh, mainly, I would say, in the service sector, in the industrial sector, let's say, low industry sector, of course, no, no car industry. And also, it's interesting, the possibilities related to West Africa, let's say, to have headquarters there, like some companies' headquarters in the special zone, logistic service, moving goods through the free trade area to Africa, and also to develop inside the island uh, some possibilities. For instance, in the agricultural sector, there has been an important development for aloe vera. Aloe vera is a plant that has been, uh, and now they're starting to develop a new plant. A new plant is called Moringa. It's coming mm -hmm. from India, and in the whole Europe, the best place to to see it and to cultivate is in Gran Canaria. It's very funny. Mm -hmm. There is a, it, why? For the sun, the sun, the time we have a sun a lot all the year and also close to the sea. Yeah. So uh, in the agricultural sector, we have also some possibility. Of course, we, we can't forget the tomatoes. We send it for since years to the United Kingdom, to London. That's why Canary Wharf. Mm. And also we have the bananas. We have a, a very important production of bananas that we sell uh, mainly to Spain. So there would there would be possibilities in there are possibilities yeah. for new development. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah, but, but also uh, in the way that this uh, is cultivated uh, with technology in greenhouses that could be exported uh, to similar um, places where we, they don't have water. So that's, I think mm -hmm. that they. Yeah, it's not only the, the, the culture, uh, uh, the agriculture of the product, it's also the technology that is associated on that. Mm -hmm. that uh, there is a great, great expertise on, on, uh, on the islands on, on that, on dealing with problems especially related with the water and lack of uh, land, that is what we don't, lack, we don't have. Mm -hmm. And also we have a long, a long uh, trip to innovate in all these primary sectors, all in, not only in the agriculture, but also in, 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 the, in farmers, and, and we have a enormous capacity for the cheeses. On, uh, so they, we have enormous uh, possibilities and we, they are expecting, uh, waiting for innovation in that way. And uh, innovation means uh, companies and means uh, uh, alliances and partners in order to, to increase the possibilities of business in, that, uh, in, in, in this primary sector in the mm -hmm. How, how, do you, how do you try and bring more companies to Gran Canaria to, to then work with Africa? How are you trying to promote this? Africa idea? is a very difficult market. Mm. The director said, and it is true, it's not easy. Uh, in the African continent, African, West African coast, there are near of 300 million of people, mm. you see. Now, uh, in the, in the last time, uh, the cities, there are a, in con urban concentration, you know. There are more than 60 cities have one million of people, you know. Mm. It's important for the, for the trading company, you know. But the, the African market uh, is not easy. But uh, Casa Africa and the country companies have a very good experience and knowledge of the African market. You know? mm. I think it's a very good partner for the European company who want to enter you know, to the African market. Yeah. Do you do you offer mainly Western Western Africa, or do you offer a gateway to the whole no, of mainly in the continent? Western Africa? Mm. Mainly in the West Africa, yes, yeah. yes. In five or six countries, you know, we are Morocco, Mauritania, Senegal, Cape Verde, Guinea, Angola, uh, Angola and perhaps the Equatorial Guinea, because they, they speak Spanish. You know, it's too easy to make this. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to say something? <laughs> well, 
but the, 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 the problem with, with this, uh, they, they can speak Spanish, but they remember the colonialism in the San Jose. So sometimes it's not so easy, you know? <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah, we do have about seven minutes left, and um, I would like to open the floor. Uh, the, the, yeah, we'll open up the floor for questions. We already have three, so if we, I saw you first, so if we do the gentleman in the middle first. Please, thank you. Um, my name is Peter Tesh. I'm with the Embassy of Mauritania in, in London. Um, and thank you very much for uh, this, present, this second uh, panel discussion uh, about Africa, the links to Africa, and particularly also Mauritania, your nearest African neighbor. Um, but I just want to come back to a point raised already on from the floor. If you talk about hub between Europe and West Africa and gateway, the problem is the lack of air connectivity to Africa. Um, there's plenty of connectivity to Europe, but to, to, to Africa, to and from Africa, it, 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 is, it is lacking. Um, and if I can speak about Mauritania, we are dependent on Air France or Royal Air Morocco. I had hoped that with the link up between Iberia and the British Airways, there would be an improvement of, of connections uh, to West Africa involving uh, Las Palmas or Madrid into West African destinations including Mauritania. And I think if, if that's not addressed, you know, then these good plans between the, the links between uh, West Africa and, and Gran Canaria will, will, will suffer. Uh, because you know, even though if you wanted to fly with Iberia to, 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 to Nouakchott, you have to stay a night over. That's maybe a nice night, but business people like to travel in one day, you know, and then they will go to Royal Air Morocco or Air, Air France, for instance. You know, Air France delivers you from, in one day, by midday, in fact, from, from London Heathrow to Nouakchott in Mauritania. Yeah. Yeah. Canaria has 12 direct flights with the West Africa coast and in particularly with Mauritania, we have five direct flights in a week. Three with Winter Canarias, it's a local company, and two with, with, uh, two with uh, Air Mauritania. I think with the, the air connectivity with Mauritania, I think it's, it's enough. You know? and, um, for us, for Canary Island, uh, Mauritania is a very, very important and good market. You know? mm -hmm. I, think, I think it is uh, an, important, an important, very important issue. Um, but if you uh, see in, in the last five years, change, uh, the, 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 the panorama yeah. was changed. Uh, uh, and uh, the reason uh, is the, the actions, the, the initiative of a local uh, company, Binter Canarias, that opened the, 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 the trips, direct trips, to several cities in Morocco, to Mauritania, to Cape Verde, and Senegal. to Senegal. Uh, and also Gambia. Gambia, and also Gambia. That have changed a lot. In a few, in few years, have changed a lot of things. But this is a, a private initiative, absolutely private initiative. Iberia, Iberia is, is practically don't change the, the stories, and, uh, and also because of the competence, uh, Air Maritani and uh, Air Maroc, Royal Air Maroc, also have increased the trips from, from the, these areas to, to, to Gran Canaria and, and, and Tenerife. So now it's a little bit, a little bit uh, easier to come, to move in Africa and to come to, to the Canary Island. But in any case, Africa is a very difficult country to move. And uh, we are step by step increasing the possibilities. But now there's a much better possibility than five years ago from moving from the Canary Island, mostly from the Canary Island, to this part of West Africa. And this is something that uh, it was president to, it was a pity that uh, Binte Canary was not a sponsor of this uh, a meeting, but uh, well, we, we do this uh, <laughs> facility for, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's, it's important to say because it's not the first time that from the floor, people ask for, for communication, for, for facilities of mobility. Yeah. I would say it is, it is growing. 
and this is very important. Of course, it is very important. If I, so, no. if I can add just one word, is uh, that also uh, the, the in people in Mauritania, people in Morocco, they are also interested. It's not our interest going there. It's their interest to come to, came to Canaries mm. because it's a very close. Uh, to go to Paris, they have to have uh, four hours or so. To come to Canaries is just uh, one hour or left. So uh, it's going to happen itself. I think it's more difficult to get a visa than to get a flight, you know? <laughs> because you have more problems with the visa than <laughs> with the flight, you know? Mm -hmm. Does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. There's another. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah? We had another question over here. Hi, sorry, I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Kapil Nandwani. I work for a company called LAT Cliffson, um, and we are a Nigerian private investment firm. Um, so, I mean, for me, Gran Canaria and, and West Africa, I just keep them very close to my heart because I was born in Sierra Leone, brought up in Gran Canaria, and now I work for Nigerians. Um, so, one thing, I, I encourage these kind of events, and I think it's a, it's a great initiative, and it's a good first step. Um, and I clearly see the synergies between best practices and, and transfer of, of technology, as you all mentioned, maritime, uh, energy, health, even cinema. Um, but I think the problem is the location of this event, which is in the middle of Piccadilly Circus, and we are linked, London is the, is the link between Gran Canaria and Africa, or Europe and Africa. It's, it looks like you know, London is the, is the hub instead of Gran Canaria. But it's a great first step. No, don't get me wrong, it's a great first step. I think for, and I encourage investing in Gran Canaria number two, um, and hopefully, I don't know, I know there's no business connection between Nigeria and Gran Canaria whatsoever, but I call all of you here, uh, especially you, Stephanie, as well. Uh, <laughs> You know, together we can organize something in, in, in Lagos uh, and invite you all of you there. Um, and especially exactly what you've said here, say it again to Nigerians and say it again to Africans. And they will, be, they will, be, they will really appreciate this. They will really appreciate what you guys have said. Thank you very much. And so the question is, <laughs> what do you think of this idea? <laughs> what do you think of this idea? <laughs> Yeah, no. Well, I think that already. I mean, we all uh, with the port authority every three or four months. Uh, these meetings, uh, uh, much more focused in, in this exchange of knowledge between the port activities. So maybe one of these uh, meetings uh, could be down in the frame of these uh, of these uh, meetings with all. Uh, so this is something that we have to speak with uh, Sergio, <laughs> that he is not here now. So that's the. <laughs> Very good. Thank yeah. you for that point. And there's another one over there and one more here. And then I think we, we will probably have to stop after that. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Councillor Barr from the Liberian Embassy in London. I want to thank the uh, Financial Times for this uh, event. And uh, the team today investing in Grand Canaria. I have a concern. Having listened to the keynote speakers and the panelists giving us all of the latest about Grand Canary today, I'd like to find out one of the simplest things in investment that I'd like to find out from you. How long does it take an investor to register a business in Grand Canaria. Two, part, part two of my question, do you have in place a friendly visa regime so as not to deter investors with all of the good things that have been said here today that we are witnessing, that we are seeing in terms of going to Grand Canaria? Have you in place a friendly visa regime? Thank you. Well, for the time to, to create a company, uh, it, the, a normal company, it will take between uh, one week, two weeks. If you want to create a special, uh, a SEC company, a special zone company, you need to make a, a report, a special report. It will take you, let's say, two weeks one, two weeks, you present to the body that regulates and they will accept or not your, your memory. That will take uh, one month and 
it, you have a, then in the next month so you can create a company. So for that, to become a sec company, when you arrive there with an idea, of course, and clearly what you want to do, you can, it can take uh, a sec company uh, two months. Month. Eh? One month. About two months. In fact, uh, Mr. Padron is yeah. in the body of the, of the SEC company. He's member of the board of the SEC, no? He's member the of the board. The SEC company is about uh, one month, approximately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. SEC is the, the special, uh, special uh, zone, uh, the Canary and special zone, and it's the boat for, for yeah, that yeah, purposes. Yeah, in a special zone where you pay, as I said before, 4% uh, corporate tax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would like to add also that if you need the space, uh, in technological parks, uh, he is the right person to speak with, so take the chance to, to speak with him today. And if you uh, like to get uh, space in all the technological parks, Jimena is the, is the one to deal with. So speak with her. Okay. The, the second question was about visa. 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 Um, uh, let me just if from, ah, the visa. The visa. Um, oh, sorry. If you want to, 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 to use particular land, this is the, when, when the problems arise, right? But uh, this is only uh, one part of the story. But uh, uh, for the rest, I think that they, they are answer you uh, perfectly well. From the visa, in my, in my knowledge, you re I received students from different parts of the world, and mostly from Africa, and, and, and a good bunch of students from, 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 from Africa. I found not too much uh, a problem to, uh, with the visa. Uh, I found more problem to maintain with the visa in the in the in the Canary in Spain because they they don't uh, uh, cover all the the, the uh, dispositions legal disposition to maintain the visa during the during the time. But I, I don't think a visa uh, for an uh, uh, investor who have a partner in the Canary Island should be especially difficult. It is my my idea, especially difficult. Uh, uh, even now, with, the, with all the problem, uh, uh, dramatic problem with the, the, the Ebola, et cetera, we are still receiving uh, students, uh, for instance, from, from Senegal. I received several students from Senegal, from San Luis, uh, from the Gaston Berger University. And also, we received some uh, special patients that they, in a program for the United, uh, from the uh, European uh, uh, Commission, we, we performed a, a, a special uh, uh, medical uh, project with these children, and we received a, a, a child a week ago, and uh, we are going to receive another child. Uh, it's true, it is, uh, it is not easy to get the visa, but it's more difficult to find the, the parents in order to get the permits and everything, just to cover all the, the possibilities. For, but for an investor, I think not uh, uh, a terrible uh, situation for, for, for get the visa. If you are clear, have a partner in the Canary Island and everything is settled before to, to ask for the visa. Yeah. That's true? Okay. No, that's okay. okay. That's true. <laughs> uh, let's get the last questions. question then, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, my name is Akin Akinola. I'm from a company called Wireless New Media. Uh, we're based in the UK as well as in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. and other West African countries. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for this event, um, you know, uh, everyone that is a part to it. Um, I'm mostly gonna buttress the point made by my friend over there, um, who was born in Sierra Leone, grew up in Grand Canaria, and now works with Nigerians. Um, I got, the attraction for me to come to this event was the, uh, was two things. It was the energy, uh, uh, energy sort of theme, as well as the West African theme. Um, I'm originally West African from Nigeria. Um, and so I thought, if you're talking West Africa, um, I believe it was Luis who made the point that there are about 300 million people in West Africa, correct? Um, I also know in Nigeria, there's about 160 million of us. So we represent half of West Africa. And you know, it's a bit of a shortcoming for me then if I'm not hearing how this event can create opportunities for investors or you know business people between these two countries primarily you know uh, not to talk of Ghana who are the bigger economies uh, of the smaller economies in, in West Africa so, you, you know so 
it's just to say how do how does the Grand Canaria benefit from this the opportunity that the Nigerian market you know uh, sort of creates it's it's no longer news that Nigeria is the uh, largest um, uh, market in in Africa let alone West Africa you know so I trust you understand where I'm coming from it's you know out of thought there'll be a focus on that market on how you know, uh, the people that understand the market can uh, benefit the people who understand also the Grand Canary and, you know, uh, business space. Thank you. No, we, we concentrate uh, our relation, commercial relation, with, uh, no, mainly with N N Nigeria. We concentrate with another country, you know. But uh, uh, N with Nigeria, the the only relation is about the port, and the, and the, but no with the commercial relation. We have no commercial relation important with, with your country. No? I'm sorry. What that means is that we need to. No, but uh, <laughs> I think you pointed out an important issue because uh, Nigeria really is a growing economy. Is a plenty of uh, opportunities uh, there. The main uh, the main. Uh, uh, activities until now has been down mainly uh, through the ports and with the, the relation with the ports. But uh, I agree with you that uh, there is uh, plenty of opportunities related with water uh, treatment, uh, with building. In, in, in Canaries we have uh, plenty of experience on, on that. And also there is the, in the building sector now is looking for new opportunities. So it's, uh, uh, it's really uh, a wonderful opportunity and what the, really the people what needs in, in, in in, in Grand Canary, especially in the building sector, is also local partnership. Because I, it, it's also the best approach. Sometimes uh, you need uh, one partner from, from, the, from, the, from the place that know everything inside, how to do it with the, um, the local administration, uh, issues inside the country, plus uh, the one that have the, or could provide uh, certain similar expertise related with uh, sanitation, water treatment, uh, you know, all of that. So I think that this is uh, something that we have to work on. Uh, to, in order to connect, to do this partnership between the ones uh, that uh, have the local uh, knowledge inside of this uh, sector and the ones that uh, uh, have the, the, the knowledge in the other one, the, in the same way that have been down with the port's uh, activities. So I, hope, I hope that answered your question. Very good. Well, perfect. Um, unfortunately, we have to wrap this one up. Um, and I'm sure you can grab any one of them outside later during lunch, unless they run away, and have a chat with them again. Thank you very much to my panel. Thank you very much. Please give me a hand. Thank you, the panel. Thank you.